Hey, what is up, you guys? It's your boy Rashawn here coming at you again with another screen recorder video. All right, so for this video right here, uh, I believe this lady is just going to go in over the uh, credit repair workbook. Uh, this video right here is going to be pretty short. Um, so basically, she got the website up here it's, uh, for uh, creditdeputies.com. Uh, you can go there. You can spend your $10 uh, on the book to get you uh, the full workbook there. Um, and it'll walk you through everything. So she's going to show you actually uh, half of what you get uh, in this video. And uh, I'm actually not going to uh, do the second lesson uh, until tomorrow. Uh, right now, we're just going to go with the work, but we're going to do every course in order. Okay. Plus, I don't have the brain capacity to sit up there and uh, do it tonight, guys. I'm so sorry. I thought I was going to have it have it but no nah, it's too much stuff happened today you know so i'm just gonna do a regular uh you know, i'm just gonna do a regular uh playthrough so let's see what she got going on and then uh we'll start from there we'll finish well you know you know what i mean see i'm already tripping out anyways let's go all right hello guys so i want to talk to you a little bit about the diy credit repair workbook show you what that looks like a little bit um, like I said, you can get the workbook on Amazon. Um, they have the Kindle version, the print version, where you can actually get a you know paperback version, or you can go on our website and you can download like the print on demand right on your printer um, type thing. So this is what um, the credit repair workbook. Just want to let y'all know the Amazon stuff she's talking about is cap. It's no longer listed on Amazon. Uh, again, the only place you can get this book right now. As of the uh, recording of this video, is uh, creditdeputies.com, that website right there. And uh, it's $10. So it's a pretty good price. Me personally, I don't want to spend my $10. You know, I already spent $10 on the course. So I probably don't want to spend another $10. I, I might, and to be honest, I might spend $10. There's no point in being that cheap. More than likely, I was spending that $10. Yeah, I'll probably spend that $10. But anyways, yeah, you can't get it on Amazon. Looks like it has 72 pages. So this is basically what you would receive if you um, downloaded um, the, ver you know, the, the instant download version. Okay. And if it's a book version, obviously it would be on the book. Okay. So I just want to kind of give you a quick little preview on what it looks like. Not going to spend a ton of time, but just so you can see what is in the workbook. As you see, I just scrolled up with the statute of limitations. So you will get um, one of these for each uh, the credit bureau. So you can see right here, this is name of number one. So this is the one you would fill out for the first credit bureau. And so there's basically three of these, three sets of these. So I mentioned in the videos to complete steps one through whatever, I'm referring to these steps in the workbook. So this is what the workbook looks like. These are what the steps look like. Okay. As you can see, this is about lowering your balances, gives you great credit tips and information. Um, all you can see here is some plan of actions okay, as you're auditing and going through your credit reports, recording that information. This is in great there. information. Okay. It's great information. I just wish you weren't so damn boring, man. God. Oh, but I've already acclimated. Or whatever that word is. Just, I already said I'm going to thug it out. Ah, oh, so boring. I'm sorry, guys. I'm starting back. So you can see firsthand what the um, workbook looks like. So again, you'll see number two. This is what you would fill out. It would be the exact same thing as the first one, but this is for credit bureau number two. And you would do the same um, for three. So I'm just going to scroll down past uh, this part. Go up. Slightly. Okay, so we get here and we have some like sample letters in here. 
sample dispute letters, sample goodwill, pay for delete, where you're negotiating. There's a sample letter in here, credit inquiry letter that's in the workbook. Here's your credit repair tracking sheet. Um, this is the one that's in the workbook. The one that's in the DIY Ultimate Kit, that one's an electronic version. It's a spreadsheet. Uh, a little different than this, but this is the one that's in the workbook. As you see, you put the creditor name, account number, day last activity. Where is it reporting? Uh, list of discrepancies, account status. All right, all right, all right, all right. We get it, we get it. Uh, actually, let's, let's get a little bit of lesson going, you know, because I, I, I just, uh oh. Goodness gracious. Yeah, let's get a little bit of lecture, lecture going. I'm going to skip this. So basically, she's going in the book. If you want to see all the stuff that she's saying, that she's telling you, get the book from the website. The book, man. Goodness gracious. All right. Well, open document. What does that mean? Open document. What is the document? Please download your, dip, your zip file under resources. Oh, I think I already got the printout. Okay, okay. I see what she's saying. I see what she's saying. Hold on. All right. Welcome back. Go back. All right. Welcome back to module two. All right. So we're actually going to go into a little bit of a lesson today, guys. Uh, I, I thought we wasn't. I was going to say it's going to be a short video, but it was it was like barely any value. She was literally just showing you uh, a book. And, and and what was in it just basically be a preview of the book you know she was just scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and it was even more boring than the actual lecture but as boring as it is you got to remember that this stuff is important so one day we're, i'm going to look back or i'm going to tell you guys to come back and look but look at one of these older videos like this and you're going to see me thugging it out getting a skill thugging it out Literally, 10, 11 o'clock at night, you know, recording myself in study sessions and posting up online so other people can learn. And uh, hopefully uh, I'm entertaining and I'm making this a lot more entertaining. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, there's no point in me posting it up. But yeah, man. That lady is boring. Goodness gracious. However, she's a very smart, very generous lady. However, she's boring. Let's keep going. I, I, and, and I can't do this full video. I can't do all 28 minutes. So we're, we're probably going to do, uh, I'm, I'm going to work my way up to the 10-minute mark, and then that's just going to be it on this video. And then we come back and do the other half in part three, okay? So, yeah, because I just I just don't have the the will to to to, to be able to take on this kind of beast right now. It's crazy, especially uh, the kind of day I had, but let's continue on. We're going to dive into your credit reports. All right, let's go ahead and get started, guys. All right, so credit reports. Your credit reports include the following information, okay? So you have personal information that includes your name, birth date, social security number, addresses, phone numbers, employers. Pretty much what it says, personal information, right? You have your credit accounts, you have a section for that, or trade lines. You have a section on your credit report that includes public records, which consists of bankruptcies and so forth. Judgments, means, uh, recent credit inquiries. So who can legally view your report? So lenders and banks can, collection companies, insurance and utility companies, landlords, employers and potential employers with consent okay they just can't say hey let me just go check this person out you know i bet they don't pay their bills on time or whatever it is no they gotta have consent okay government agencies can so you have three of them so there are three different credit reporting bureaus that are most common okay so three main ones you have Equifax, you have Experian, and you have TransUnion. Those are your three main credit reporting bureaus. So each report may contain different information. So Equifax may have 
uh, different accounts. Experian may have different accounts. TransUnion may have different accounts. They, a lot of times they will not be identical. Okay. So that's why it's important to review all three regularly. Okay. So you want to look at all three. You want to look line by line and look for those discrepancies as well. Okay. But we'll talk more about that later. Bottom line, you have three uh, credit bureaus. Here are the three main ones. But you also have other consumer reporting companies. So besides the three bureaus, there are many private companies that create credit reports, and they also have to go by the same FCRA rules, regulations. When you're disputing information on those reports, you have other consumer reports that are held at these other consumer reporting companies. Okay, so it's a good idea to request a copy of your credit report from each of the consumer reporting agents. These are just the four or five main ones. There's a bunch of them. Okay, and I'll put a link in the course where you can see all the other consumer reporting agencies. But the ones you're going to want to focus on, especially for repairing your credit initially, are these right here. LexisNexis, SageStream, which uh, SageStream and LexisNexis have like merged together. You have ARS. NRS, which is considered the fourth credit bureau, like the silent fourth credit bureau, I guess you would classify them as, in core logic. Okay. You also have check systems. There's other uh, consumer reporting agents, and, and they typically specialize in certain type of information that they handle or report. So less is next is we'll have information about your bankruptcies, different public records, but they can also have other uh miscellaneous credit information on there okay same thing with same stream ars will have different information core logic will have information you have check systems will have information about your checking banking history you have some consumer reporting agencies that specialize in utilities maybe they only house or provide information about utilities your payment history with utility companies there will be some that specialize in medical. There will be some that specialize in home loans and different stuff like that. So in that report, you want to look over it, the consumer reporting um, list. You want to look at those agencies, see what they specialize in. Okay, you can request your consumer report from each of those, but the ones that you want to focus the most on are the ones that I have listed here, but you can certainly request others as well. Okay, but as far as repairing your credit, you're going to kind of focus on these. But if you have on your credit report some checks that were bounced or something like that, then you obviously want to add in check systems as another uh, reporting agency that you're going to want to retrieve that report from. Okay, so you're going to re uh, review these reports for inaccuracies just like you would with the three main credit bureaus. You're going to dispute information with them just like you would with the other three main credit bureaus okay so you're going to uh, prepare dispute folders as you did for the credit bureau reports okay so you're going to look in your re your guidebook look for resource links like i mentioned before for a full list of consumer reporting companies their contact information um the type of information that they kind of house okay so credit reports, how do you attain your reports? Okay, so you can get one free copy each year. Okay, um, you can get those paid services that provide information um, like smartcredit.com. You see on your screen here. Um, and I want to point out too, when you're fixing your credit, um, the free apps like Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, those are great for snapshots, okay? You will not be using those apps to fix your credit, okay? They just do not provide enough information, and you will not be able to effectively repair your credit using just those as your source of repairing your credit. If that's your goal, then this process is probably not for you. Um, I'm going to show you how to properly repair your credit. Do it right, and you're going to need a paid credit monitoring service to do this, okay? You just don't have that much information on Credit Karma. Credit Karma only has TransUnion, Equifax, and it doesn't even break down all the information because that's not really what it's for. It's really for um, 
kind of showing you other services, their affiliate programs, credit cards, stuff like that, and it's tied into LexisNexis in the end, um, or some of them are credit, uh, tied into creditrepair.com, um, but they don't have enough information where you can actually repair your credit and provide the information to the credit bureaus to properly um, repair your credit, okay? You just don't, okay? Like I said, it's great as a snapshot. It's great to get a good look, and those credit scores that you see on Credit Karma, Credit Sesame, and so forth, those are consumer scores consumer scores those scores mean nothing to anybody but you as a consumer okay that's the best way i can put it they are vanished scores okay it's great for repairing your credit because yes the credit score is good this is and that it's not the score that lenders use to approve you for loans they use fico and then fico has different score models there's a different score model for buying a house there's a different score model for buying a car there's a different score model for applying for credit card okay each one weighs different things differently so medical bills under the home module may not care so much about medical bills or so forth maybe they don't weigh that quite as heavily okay so you're going to need to have a third party um a three barrel credit report okay when you're repairing your credit here's one that we suggest or recommend there's other ones that we will recommend and we'll put it in the resource guide as well um you can check them out see different options features stuff like that you can also get one free copy each year from annualcreditreport.com okay just want to point out ordering a credit free credit report allows the bureaus credit bureaus up to 45 days to reinvestigate your dispute so if you get a free copy just know that 30 days that typically everybody talks about, they have 30 days to reply. Yes, typically. But if you get a free annual credit report from annualcreditreport.com, they get 15 extra days to investigate. So say 45, okay? Especially if you've got a free report. So let's look at annualcreditreport.com. So what you're gonna wanna do if you do obtain your free credit report, which is good, um it has a lot of detailed information they go back a lot further in the history than a lot of the paid services but they, it's hard to use these annual credit reports even though they're free but it's harder to look at discrepancies across all credit bureaus and to really gauge what's different and so forth um but these free credit reports have a lot of information especially when it comes to correcting your personal information um, because they, they go way back. They have more addresses, more name variations, more telephone numbers, especially when you look at like Experian and stuff. You'll be looking at addresses on your phone. You go, my God, I haven't lived there. And what? Where'd you get this address from? Okay. So if you get a free report and you're going to take advantage of using the personal identifier letter number two, which we'll talk about later, if you take in the mini course, you may have heard of it. So what you're going to want to do is send the opt out of arbitration letter to the credit bureaus after you request a free copy of your credit report, if you purchase the um, the ultimate DIY, our ultimate DIY credit um, repair kit, it will include these arbitration letters in there. Okay, so there is an arbitration agreement or clause that is part of the fulfillment process when you order your credit report that prevents you from suing the credit bureaus with a jury trial, especially if you're repaying your credit and you've got some violations and stuff like that, uh, or you can actually seek some legal um, assistance and maybe sue for damages and stuff like that. Depending on where you're taking this, you're going to want to send out the arbitration letter to the credit bureaus so that you don't opt out of that option, okay? So I just want to point that out, okay? So, the, like I said, again, the free credit reports are great for completing the personal identification number two. It's optional, but it's effective. It has pros and cons, as I mentioned earlier. You get 15 extra days for the investigation. But if you're, if a, I want you guys to think about this. If you have, which I'm assuming, some negative information on your credit report, especially if, it have, if you have collection or charge-offs, it took you, uh, 120 days or so 
and more for that item to even become a charge off. Okay, so you've had all those months, okay, five, six months for that item to go negative 40, 15 extra days is not gonna, it's not that detrimental, okay? And um, it's really good. It helps remove negative information from your credit report. You kind of want to untie yourself from old addresses, old incorrect addresses, old incorrect names, old telephone numbers, old employers. You want to kind of clean that stuff up because it attaches to um, creditors or trade lines and information. Okay, so you want to kind of um, cut away from that. And the way to do that is cleaning up the personal information. It makes it a lot easier when you're doing your disputes and repairing your credit. So um, those are the pros and cons right there. So you Okay, so she actually just dropped some slick gems. Uh, I mean, I was half sleep in the beginning, but to be honest, I didn't came back through. I didn't came back around. Um, but I caught a second win, if you will. Um, she actually went in. What, what was it that she said? She was saying something that was a uh, really important. It, it kind of got me. Let me get a second. It was. It was. Um. It was. What was it? What was it? Because in the beginning, you know, the first lecture that she was talking about, she was talking about uh. You know, dispute this and dispute that and dispute this in the credit report. And I'm like, yeah, when it comes to repairing your credit, if you got a whole bunch of stuff on your credit score, you know, bunking your score all the way down to like the low two, three hundreds, four hundreds. Yeah, you want to do a lot of dispute and that makes sense. But she also said that uh, these a lot of these credit agencies and that paperwork that they have y'all sign or try to get y'all to sign, you know, they can actually... Uh, Revoke your uh, your right to they, they, your, your right to uh, privacy, meaning they can sell your information to uh, the highest bidder, uh, which is actually a big thing. You don't want people selling your information. You don't want uh, and, and let me and let me go in on that a little bit too because uh, that seems to be a common theme here. Uh, when I was reading that uh, that book, uh, How to Arrest Proof Yourself. Uh, it's on the other video. Uh, it's one of the other videos. Uh, I was reading uh, how to arrest proof yourself. That's kind of what the police did. You know, they they, they kind of have this information that follows you around, you know, for life, you know, and they sell you information from one, you know, department to the next or whatnot, right? And all these people seem to know more about you than you. You know, all of a sudden, you've never seen these people before in life when it didn't always used to be like that. You know, it used to be... Uh, you know, at least in the back of the day, I want to say like way like before the 2000s, like any time before the 2000s where this Internet and this technology stuff actually got advanced. You know, uh, if you had a bad name, you know, what I'm saying if you had a criminal record and felonies and all that stuff and, and life wasn't going the way you wanted to, all you had to do was skip town. You know, you just go to the next town over and you're OK. You know, but now you can't just go to the next state. You can't skip town now and expect to, uh, what's it called, and expect to leave your old life behind. Your old life is going to follow you everywhere now, you know, because they got this thing called the system, and it's all over the United States to where, you know, there is no second chance. You you get one chance, uh, and that's it. However it happens, you know, that's just how it happens. And these people uh, do not care about you at all. You know, they'd be willing to play They'll be willing to put any little violation or any negative mark or any dirt that they can get on you. They're going to get it on you. You know what I'm saying? These people do not care. They don't care about if you're male or female, gay or straight. They don't care where you're from or where you're at, anything like that. Anything that will literally put you in a negative light, that's what these people try to do. Because what it does is it disqualifies you from a lot of things. It definitely does. It makes it harder for you to get things. You know, like, for example, I'm trying to be an entrepreneur, a, a serial entrepreneur. It took a lot of years of pain and misery and trials and tribulations, and I'm still not there yet, you know, with the uh, entrepreneur thing. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of halfway. I'm like a half a pador. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. But as you can see now, I'm up. Wait, what time is it? What does that say? I'm up 11 o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Just did work. Went and did some other things around the house, chores, you know, all that stuff. And I'm up cooking, you know, YouTube videos, doing lectures at the same time. Shoot, when I work in my job, shoot, I'm trying to sell product while, while I'm at my job, you know, working a damn job. You know what I'm saying? I'm working while I'm at work. You know, when I'm at home, I'm, I'm doing chores. You know, I got responsibilities. I'm planning. You know, I got a meal plan. I got a budget. I got a goal that I'm trying to do. I hit the chalkboard. I got the little board. It's not an actual chalkboard, but it's a vision board where I put my stuff up on the wall and I go and I, and I write my goals down and I check them off. I write down everything I need to do and I check it off and I check it off. You know, bullshit. I, I put the bullshit to the side later and I focus on the business. You know, like I got all kinds of suspended licenses. I got all kind of shit, you know, that, you know, has been on my credit uh, from all these years. I didn't even know that, you know, that there was a, uh, what this lady dropped was a gym. Now that it's coming back to me, uh, you got two different scores, guys. So you, you have a consumer score, which is for you, the consumer. And then you have the score that actually matters, which is the lender score. You know what I'm saying? You also have score different scores that people use when they want to give you a house or a car or anything like that. Like now that was facts, what she said right there, because I didn't know that there was three different scores. You have a credit score and then you have a FICO score. So now I'm gonna complete I'm gonna complete this course. And now uh once I complete this course, if she doesn't tell me uh how to do it, I'm gonna actually get another course on how to how to Repair your FICO score. And I got to make sure I write that down. And let me write it down now in my, in my notes. How to repair FICO score. Because I, I didn't know anything about FICO score. Like at all. I didn't even know the FICO score. So that's why... You know, even though I have a 626 credit score, you know, which is considered consider average, you know, I still can't get a loan or anything from anywhere, even with a 600, you know, credit score. Because, I uh, number one, I don't have a uh, established credit history, or so they say, and I'm getting judged by different things. And no one teaches me about this. You know, I didn't learn about none of this shit in school. You know, my parents don't know about this shit. You know, other people's parents don't really know about this shit. It's just literally my hunger for knowledge, my thirst for knowledge, the, the, the idea that I kept saying, why, why? And I kept asking why or how, or, you know, I kept asking questions. And one thing continuously leads to another, like how I just got a whole nother thing, what I need to do, you know, FICO score. It's on my head right now. I'm on credit score, credit score and FICO score. Is it's different apparently, so I need to find out what that is. And then once I'm reading the FICO score, I'm pretty sure in that lecture it's going to lead me to something else. She's going to he or she is going to say something in that lecture that's going to make me go study something else. It's like, and it's crazy because it's going to be great for my YouTube thing, and it's great for entertainment. And I mean entertainment because I get to record my journey, and that's what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't really do it as much when I was unstable. You know, I really wish I could record a lot of the things that I did when I was homeless and, and all that stuff. But I really missed a lot of that stuff. It, it's a lot of gems from back in the day that I didn't capture because I was too busy living in a struggle versus, you know, recording it. That shit was like a movie, man. I wish I could go back in time and keep the camera rolling, <laughs> you know, so I could record this stuff. But However, uh, those days are gone, and all I can do is tell you about how it was, you know, out there. And, and, and yeah, but it's crazy. You know, you know, Young Pharaoh always said, you know, when he was, uh, when he was on the shit, but Young Pharaoh was saying that uh, the more you know, the more it's going to hurt. You know, uh, one of my ancestors said, you know, that knowledge is power. You know, and, and but he also didn't mention the other thing. Knowledge is pain. It's pain. Like I'm actually feeling pain now that I'm doing this credit repair. You know, not not just the pain of boredom. 
because I am feeling the pain of boredom. You know, this lady is boring, but actually, as we get deeper and deeper into this uh, thing here, she's actually spitting facts. She's actually spitting facts. She's telling you about all kind of acts, hope a wealth of information. It's just two videos. I mean, the first video was just right into it, just straight information. The second information, even more. I mean, the second video was just even more information. She's telling you to opt out from these credit bureaus because they sell you information. She's telling you about identity stuff. She's telling you who to call. She's telling you uh, why credit karma is garbage, you know, and, and why you shouldn't use credit karma, you know, if you want to uh, repair your credit. Like, I'm up here listening to all this stuff, and I'm like, wow, I've been using credit karma for years, so I've been doing it wrong. They're just showing me a small sliver of you know, my whole thing. So I guess I'll try to get my consumer credit right. And then I'll try to get my FICO right and whatever else right. Because I need to be able to go into these people. These people's uh, domains and be able to say, hey, you know, hey, I, I need like 50 grand, you know, and they say, yes, sir, Mr. Gillespie, sir. And they give it to me. You know what I'm saying? But however, when I go in there now, you know, they, you know, they close the book on me and they deny me and my credit score drops even more for being denied, which is not fair. But, you know, they say, hey, we're going to hit your score for, you know, at least trying to get a loan, you know, which I didn't understand. Uh, I didn't know about the uh, the three main credit bureaus. I didn't know uh, about how they do a whole bunch of the legal things here that, that they play a lot of legal games with people. This is why it's very important to have a damn lawyer or to have a mentor. You know, I'm really glad this lady is putting me up on game on this, but I would love to have, you know, at least about two or three different lawyers. Each each pay about 50, 60 grand a year out of my salary from my businesses. You know, this is me personally. And then uh, I might even come up with a consumer uh, lawyer bureau uh, to where the common man can have access to uh, lawyers, you know, to where it's subsidized by uh, monthly payments from, you know, a group of, uh, oh, no, that's a, that's a, that's a business deal. That's a business plan right there. I ain't going to say that on, on the net just yet. That's actually a business deal. I'm going to, I ain't going to say it all out like that. I'm, I'm going to actually do it and then, you know, get a situation. That's, that's a, that's a whole business plan. That's a whole industry that haven't even been tapped into yet. Nobody ever did that. Nobody ever thought about doing that. That is crazy. Dang. I just had a breakthrough. I just had a double breakthrough. I came up with two major ideas that, that doesn't exist today. You know what I'm saying? This is why I just can't be poor. I, I just can't be poor. Not because I want to go out and ride on Lamborghinis and, 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 uh, and, and, and wear Balenciagas and Gucci and Fendi and all that garbage. You know, so to be honest, I don't really even like, you know, Lamborghinis and Gucci's and Fendi's. I mean, Lamborghinis look cool, but I probably wouldn't own one. I'm more of a Honda type guy anyway, off topic, I know. You know, I'd rather uh, get me a Honda supercar. So I ride the Honda supercar before I ride a Lamborghini. You know, or anything like that. So, yeah, that, that that's enough for me, Randy. Man, I just came to a, a just a realization, man. I just didn't realize just how how deep this course is is just getting. It's, this course is getting deep. I don't know if you guys ever actually listened. It, it got so deep that I forgot to stop it right at ten. I literally lost track of time, and it stopped right at twelve minutes and twenty four seconds. So I actually went over. I'm just looking over the notes. I mean, she's giving you a list of all the reporting companies. She's giving you a list of all the places. You you could do paid services for monthly reports. I'm sure y'all know that. But then you could get the uh the free credit the free uh copy of your credit report. But see, if you go and get your free copy of each credit report, nothing's actually ever freaking free. Uh they say, well, we'll give you a free copy of your credit report, 
if you give us more time, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, reinvest, to reinvestigate your dispute. You see what I'm saying? It goes from, it increases from, let me write it here, increases from legally 30 days to 45 days when you request that that uh, credit report. So that gives them more time to find dirt on you and find mess on you to uh, mess, you know, to do the investigation and, and, and basically say you owe this money or whatever it is. Basically, these people are not in your favor is what, is what basically all she's saying. And then you got Credit Karma does a kid. Uh, I already read that. And then it also says you can't sue them once you get this free credit copy of the other of the credit report each year. And it's, it is the real credit report. It's not your consumer report. It, it gives you FICO and everything else. And they're telling you how to how to opt out of the uh, arbitration letter to the credit bureaus after requesting a free copy of your credit of your credit report. See what I'm saying? Like this lady, I, I'm not going to lie. The information is always worth more than the money to me, man. Like if I had, like I would give like somebody like this, like this lady, like I would hire her if I had the money, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have the money because I keep investing my money into getting more information, but if you, if I'm two videos in and I'm this damn impressed by you know the game that you put me up on, and you're putting the people on, you know, it just, I'm just dumbfounded. I'm actually interested. I, I kind of want to just do this whole video. I really do. I've gotten the the drive to do it. I got the hunger to do it, but I know that's not good for me because I actually have to go to work in the morning. So I can't stay up half the night grinding this stuff and then I'll be a zombie in the morning and then it'll cut into my day and it don't be right. So, uh, yeah, this is actually going to be the end of the video, you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys appreciate me chopping it up. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to upload this thing tonight. I would come back and finish the other half. Uh, I'm going to write where I left off. I'm going to say I left off at 12.24. Okay, so I left off 12.24, and then we're going to pick it back up from there, okay? Thank you guys for coming in on this video, and I am out.